So, we haven't posted a whole lot since the holidays. We were kind of burned out, just kind of just tired. Lots of family get-togethers, lots of food, lots of just traffic, shopping, madness. And then uh, I came down with the plague. So that's a whole week of my life that I'm not getting back there. And uh, now we're trying to get ready to move. And we are moving to a three bedroom apartment instead of the two bedroom that we have now. So everything's a disaster right now. Uh, we plan on vlogging for our move and just kind of showing everybody the new place and our whole extremely fun moving process. So as you can see right now, it's just kind of a disaster in here. We got boxes, baby stuff, so we're trying to pack, but we also have to live our daily lives. So it's just, it's a total disaster. It's ridiculous, but it'll be all over soon. More boxes, boxes. Again, we're still trying to function. Most everything is already, is already out of here. We're just ready for it to be done. So yeah, it's uh, it's been a very interesting month of January so far, and oh, I got to okay, there we go, getting the right angle here. Very interesting month of January, and it's going to be very interesting moving with a baby. My helper from work is going to come, and he's bringing a friend to try to help us with all the heavy stuff, because I'm just getting too old for this stuff, and I don't want to do it. So yeah. We'll be seeing you guys uh, here in another week whenever we're moving and uh, we'll document everything and it should be a fantastic time. That, that was sarcasm. Good morning guys. It, it is Tuesday, January 29th. No, what? I don't even know the time, the date, but we are moving really soon in like a couple of days. I just woke up. It's like... 7 30 in the morning right now and gonna make some coffee i already fed josiah um he's chilling over here but he's learning how to kick so he's like sliding down every chance that he gets so i have to keep watching him um i'm gonna put him in the little bouncer in a little bit and put on coco melon so i can start cleaning and packing up more stuff because we move out this weekend so we only have a couple more days left to start packing everything that we have so this is the coffee that i drink this is the coffee that i've been drinking in the morning i usually have like this variety pack um it has like hazelnut french vanilla um uh, and all these different like oh that's the same one <laughs> has like different flavors um has caramel but lately I've been just drinking this one right here from Cafe Olay so Cameron got me this for my push present and I love it I've always wanted one it just makes it a lot easier to make coffee all right so I got my coffee and I'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning this apartment to make it look decent because it's just really bad right now and I have to start packing. I have a few boxes that I need to put together. Ah, today's gonna be an interesting day. Okay, so I just put Josiah in his bouncy, like in his bouncer, and we're watching Coco Melon, so I have to like mute this part out. <laughs> Alright, so I finally put Josiah to sleep and now I'm gonna Go ahead and put in my contacts and show you guys what I do in the morning for my skin. First thing I do is wash my hands. So I'm gonna wash my hands. We use this right here. It smells so good. And usually my Apple Watch will tell me like to wash my hands for like 20 something seconds, I think. Um, so I just wash my hands really well. All right, so once I've washed my hands, I'm gonna grab my contact case. I'm super, super blind, like I can't see anything. Now that I put my contacts on, I feel like I'm bending because 
this camera situation is not that great. So I'm gonna pull my hair back um, just so it could be out of my face for right now. I basically just wash my face, um, just get it wet and make sure that, you know, I get all that oil out of my face. I used to like use certain things to like wash my face like cleansers and stuff but I realized with my face like I don't need all that fancy stuff so I just do this and then I'll just pat dry it so after I wash my face with water and then um, just pat dry my skin i will get this next step right here so this is my ponds i know i've this is in the other video i think it was the christmas vlog but i use this right here and this stuff is amazing for dark spots um i did have like a lot of acne as soon as i got on birth control i feel like it helped a lot so like i feel like my acne is hormonal acne so once I started birth control, um, all that acne went away. Like I didn't, I wasn't breaking out anymore, but I do have dark spots still. Um, I still break out once in a while because of my menstrual cycle, but anyways, this is like a dollar, like a dollar and 20 cents or so at H-E-B, Walmart. I get the little small one. Um, you could get the bigger size one. That one's like eight bucks, but what I do and it may not work for everybody, but I just put the lotion on like the spots that I see. So I'll just get a little bit and I'll put it on the spots that I need it, like the dark spots, which I have a lot of. So I look a little crazy, but this is what I do when I put this lotion on and I do have some like on my neck. So I'll put it there and I'll leave, I'll leave this on for like a couple of minutes or so. So it's been about five minutes and I'm just going to start rubbing it all in. So on nice and done. We just woke up from a nap. <laughs> We've been asleep for a couple of hours now. We needed that nap though, huh, honey? Huh. <laughs> he just ate, but I think he's still tired. I'm gonna start making dinner right now because Cameron should be getting home in about like an hour or so. So I gotta do laundry, dinner, and then work again tomorrow and do it all over again what are you doing <laughs> hi hi hello so the one thing i don't like about cooking is well first of all i'm not patient but um i feel like i never cook it like i'm just scared like i'm not gonna cook it right like i'm gonna you know what i'm trying to say like like with ground beef, like is it cooked well enough? Like chicken, is it cooked well enough? Stuff like that. So I'm cooking chicken right now, but I don't know, I just get like, oh, you know, like am I cooking it for the right amount of time? Like, so I cut up like, I cut up the chicken to see if it's still like pink or like, cause I just get so paranoid and I think that's why like, I don't like cooking. I don't like feeling that way that like, I don't want to get anyone sick, you know? You know what I'm saying? I think this is cooked well enough, but I, I don't know why my camera keeps doing that. It like keeps moving on its own. This is cooked enough, but I'm just so scared. <laughs> I'm so scared. This is why I let Cameron do the cooking. He usually cooks. That's him right now. <laughs> he usually cooks, not me. Um, I cook once in a while, like, but not really because I get so paranoid. Okay, so the last of the chicken is gonna be ready in like five minutes i'm also going to use this it's a uh, vegetables and you just microwave it in the microwave for like five minutes and it's really good i like the broccoli with cheese and i know carrots are not part of keto but 
that's all we have for tonight we haven't gone to H-E-B we usually do like the curbside um so yeah but I just wanted to cook something really quick and we're gonna have that some sliced avocado for me I don't know if Cameron wants sliced avocado but I love avocado and then sprinkle some cheese and that's our dinner so I've never had steak but if I did I am one of those girls that would like it like well done because this is the chicken that I've made so far but like I just like I will burn my meat just so I can know for sure that it's like cooked right and like I get so paranoid like I'm over here cutting up the chicken to make sure that it's cooked properly I, I get so scared you know but this is why I don't cook I get anxiety so I learned recently how to use this thing because I was doing it wrong I turned it on TikTok yeah I was doing it completely completely wrong and he's comfortable in there let me show you guys so put it over here hold on so there he is <laughs> he is the cutest thing but I just learned how to do this um, I didn't know that they had like little clips here so it's easier to put on <sighs> if I would have known that I was like struggling the first time I used this thing and I'm like how are you supposed to do this by yourself but thank God for TikTok Alright, so this is the result of a dinner. We just mixed everything together. Um, it's Cameron's idea. And it and... just needs cayenne pepper. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so he's adding that because I'm probably not a good cook. <laughs> no, because it, it needs some kick. But anyways, so we're going to eat dinner and watch Encanto for like the 15th time because I love this movie. And the songs, I'm obsessed. That's all we've been singing in this house. <laughs> it's just Encanto. <laughs> And she's been dancing around. And I, have, I have my very own. Di I have my very own Disney princess. So we're gonna enjoy dinner and watch our movie and oh. just enjoy our each other's company. And we will see you guys in the next vlog.